Hello, on today's video I will show you how to use our force on our force bar to eject our rocket. So now if I press on the screen you will see that our rocket is flying and after a few seconds it will fall down back uh, with the gravity factor. So let's get started. Uh, as you remember in last episode we've created power bar and if you press the screen, our power bar stops and the power bar value we have here, we want to use it and add that force to launch our rocket by moving our platform. So let's get started. First, what we want to do is to turn off our rocket. So for, for now, let's disable it. Uh, let's add to our platform uh, Rigid body 2D to be able to apply physics to our rigid body. What we want to do is turn off is to change gravity scale to zero because if we don't do that, you see what's happen what will happen. Our platform will just drop. So if you use gravity scale zero, now it will not be affected by gravity and our platform will remain on that position. Okay, so now let's let's go to our script we've created previously, and uh, we need to add few things for our for our platform to be working. First, what I want to do is to go to change max power bar value to one. It will be easier uh, because now we'll create uh, our we'll create force modifier, and it will be much easier to multiply one than one hundred. Okay, so first let's create plus um, reset public load launch force modifier and we'll multiply this this power bar value we have on our power bar by this land force modifier okay and or maybe multiplier let's call it multiplier land force multiplier. okay and let's make reference for our rigid body to the it's our rigid body we've just attached to our launch platform One second. Oh, yeah. So let's for now let's make launch force multiplier like ten. Let's control save. And now when we have already created um, reference for our rigid body, we created the value, but now we need to create reference. So let's write rigid body to the get component rigid body to the and now we have it now we can call our rigid body attached to our platform now what I want to do is to work on our function which is called launch rocket okay so what we want to do is first create launch force value for launch force equal to our current current power bar value is the power bar when uh, the power bar value when we stop our power bar bar we'll get a value between zero and one so and multiply it by our launch force force multiply. So now we'll have force uh, with which we'll um, launch our rocket and we also need to add that force to our rigid body. So that force uh, 
we will add by rigid body 2D at force. And we want to add it. We have two possibilities to add force by just vector, but we want to use force mode um, to add inputs force. So we'll not be adding force incremental to our rigid body, but we'll add all the force in in one moment. So to do that, as you can see here, we first need vector for force and we need to write what force mode we'll use. So we need to create vector2 with launch force force let's call it launch force vector and it will be new vector So in the vector two, with on with first value is the value of x, so it will be zero, because we want to add launch rocket in this direction. So this direction is uh, y value. X will remain zero. So let's get back to code, and the second value will be our launch force. So now we just need to um, add this vector of launch force uh, launch force vector and now we need to provide force mode to the dot impulse. So now I will show you what will happen when we have something like that. So if you press play, we press, yeah, our platform got ejected. It's uh, actually, it's what we want, but uh, we need to modify it a little bit. So first let's lower our launch platform. Yeah, it might be that level. So it's minus 3.25 and we want to launch it to minus three, or oh, maybe that's hmm. minus three. Yeah. Okay. So let's do. Let's create moves like that. So from minus three twenty-five, maybe this. Uh, it depends on you how you want to do it, but I will create that. This will look much better. So from this position, we want to move to minus three. So let's create function that will stop movement of our platform on position minus three minus three dot zero. So to do that uh, we'll need to create function uh, let's name it check platform pause um, Okay, and what we'll be doing here is just if this that position, so this transform that position is position of our platform is larger or equal than minus three three point zero f. Uh, this position dot y sorry dot y is higher than three dot f then we want um, to change the rigid body velocity to zero so rigid body to the velocity is equal to new vector to zero. Okay, that way our platform will be stopped. Okay, 
So now we want we want to take this check platform and call it in function update. And now if we press play, we will see that our platform will stop on a certain level. And one thing here, don't forget to change bar change speed to 0 0.1 before we had like 3 and if you press play and your bar change speed will be 3 you will not see any movement it's just moving too far too fast so go to change to 0 0.1 or maybe something smaller like 0 0.05 uh, 0, 0 0.04 yeah i think it's it's okay so you change it also control save press play and now let's test it okay so Ah, yeah, we've put wrong value here. We've put value 3. Point... Yeah, it should be minus 3.0f. So here, now press play and test it. You can see here that our movement works as, as it should. So now we just need to add our rocket again. And one more thing to add on our platform is Collider. Let's use Box Collider 2D. And on this Collider, this is the Collider on which our rocket will stand on. So let's do it now. We have to modify it a little bit. It's on the X. Yeah, we want something like this. Let's make it 2. And on Y, we want something like this. It's value 0 0.55 will be okay. <coughs> Let's add a rigid, bo a rigid body to our rocket. Uh, first, rigid body. Let's keep gravity scale here on level 1. Because it will be slowing down our rocket. On later episode, we'll add engine, so, which will burn our fuel. So for now, let's add capsule collider to the for our rocket. Let's check how it looks, and yeah, let's make it. Let's change the size on Y. Something like that. Okay, 0.25 maybe. Yeah, it's okay. Let's lower our rocket. Ah, yeah, and before that, freeze rotation on Z. Let's move it here. Somewhere here. Okay, perfect. One thing if we now press play, because this game object have gravity scale and this doesn't, and both of them are dynamic, so you will see what happens. This will fall down and our platform will fall down together with our rocket and we don't want that effect so to avoid that we need to change uh, our platform to static but as you will notice now it will not fall down but if we press on our screen nothing will happen it's because that on static rigid body type forces will not work so let's keep static for now and we'll have to change rigid body type to script so when we are launching our platform we want to change our rigid body type to dynamic rb 2d dot body type it will be equal to rigid body type 2D dot dynamic. Okay. Now if we test it, sorry, if we test it, press play. You can see what's happened. <laughs> yeah. So a few more fixes needs to be added. First let's uh, launch force let's make bigger launch force multiplier for our test let's zoom out and let's check how the rocket will behave yeah 
perfect. And it will fall down and will push our platform downwards. So we don't want that. So after eject, after eject our platform, so when we have the check platform position, let's change our rigid body type to the again, but this time let's make it static again. Static. Let's add one more condition because we don't want our rigid body to the to be lower. The lower position because it's falling down downwards so to fix that we have to yeah also change rigid body static position make it it's if it will fall below minus 3.5 below uh, always in the minus value uh, yeah it will hold, fall down below minus 3.5 want to change rigid body to static and we will need to fix rigid body transfer position to original position so it will be this transfer position Will be equal to new to uh, from zero to minus three point zero uh, three point five f. Sorry. Okay. I hope it's clear. If not, write it in the comments so I explain again. If something is unclear on my videos, please please write it in the comments so I. I will explain or put more explanation to the code. Okay. So now we can test our behavior. So as you can see here now, if we press ejection, our platform got ejected and it stopped. Uh, one thing I don't like here is the position because it was ejected too far. Mm, so we need to change our update to fix update. Okay, let's test it again. So I to hit max power. Yeah, it's still getting it too far so I think the best way will be um, treat a little bit so if we take our legs let's hide our graphic for meteor for now and the best way would be to cheat a little bit so to extend our legs it stops uh, on a different level is that mm, because our functions are checking the change of the position uh, in in every 0 0.02 second this is the time that our fixed update is checking position of our platform so if our platform is moving faster so in that we have more force than for example if you have uh, lower force then our movement will be smaller but uh, from the zero to from like but if we have more force between here the speed of our rigid body is also higher so that's it that's why it can move farther okay 
Mm, okay. So that's why we have to cheat a little bit of, with the graphic. It has no influence on gameplay, just on the visuals here. So now yeah, it works fine. And rockets drop back on our platform. Mm. So for today's video, that was all. I hope you liked it. And if you like it, please put, uh, please don't forget to click like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much, much for watching and see you on the next episode. Bye.